Hello, fellow preppers. Tis I, the rumpled one. Well, as you know, I watch prepper videos just about every day. And I was watching one earlier. It's kind of funny. Uh, the guy was talking about his everyday carry bag again. And he mentioned that he had a pen. That's a good idea. But, you know, he mentioned a specific pen. You know, the XYZ123. I don't remember what it was. But I was thinking, you know, I think sometimes people get a little carried away with gear. Now, I'm not trying to, you know, put anybody down or show any disrespect to a fellow prepper. Because, you know, everybody has their opinion. Well, I got mine too. And I just think when you focus on, you know, that kind of specifics, you're kind of missing the point. You know, it's like that guy with the $115 flashlight the other day. Well... Uh, it's kind of funny because it was this tactical flashlight. Well, I was at the uh, Costco, and they had this tactical flashlight. You got three of them for 15 bucks. Okay, they're made in China, but, you know, here it is. It's uh, high and low beam, has the emergency strobe light, aircraft-grade anodized aluminum body. It's 150 lumens. It says it lights up to 100 meters. Uh, let's see. You can drop it from a meter and it'll still work. And I guess it's waterproof. It's got this little cloud icon here. It says the, uh, I guess the high beam is worth one hour and the low beam's four hours. But three of them for 15 bucks. And the other guy spent 115. Well, you see, I went to Harbor Freight today. And I picked up something, and I had the uh, coupon, so I got me this one free. Now, you know, is this one better than this one? I mean, let's think about it. If it's dark out and you need light, does it really matter? I mean, what are you going to be doing that's so important that this is better than this? I mean, I know these guys like to put them on their rifles, but to me, you know, if you walk around with a flashlight lit, uh, you're telling the bad guys where you're at. So while they're hiding, makes you the target. So it's just something to think about. Because see, when it comes to the equipment, I think it's more important that you cover all the bases first before you try and get too fancy. So rather than spending, you know, 10, 20, 30, or I don't know how much that pen costs, hey, you know, probably if you go to some stores or you just happen to be some event they probably hand them pens out free maybe even at the bank I think there's a couple banks still hand out pens for free um, and you know if you have one or two of those that's gonna do the job you wanna write well that's what you use I mean you know it's kinda like that joke that NASA spent I don't know is it millions of dollars developing that pen that could write upside down when the Russians used the pencil number two pencil I mean I mean, that's what we're talking about, you know, survival situation, you know, in your everyday carry bag. I mean, think about it. Do you really need, you know, that expensive gear? Because, you know, when we're talking about survival, which I'll probably do another video on this, I mean, there's a couple things. Either you're going to try and get back to your place where you got all your stuff, or your place has been, you know, totally devastated. Maybe it's been burned. Maybe it's been blown up where all you have is what's in your bag. But, I mean, if, if you really think about, you know, and weigh, you know, the chances of one over the other, uh, I think that, um, you know, you got to be smart about it and, and, and cover all the bases first before you start spending, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars on, you know, the latest and greatest uh, prepper techno weenie gear. So... But doesn't matter because, you know, I salute the guy because he's preparing. Because if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail.